Fans of Kid Icarus Uprising were given a wonderful surprise during E3 when it was announced that Palutena would indeed be a new fighter in Super Smash Bros. for Wii U and 3DS. And based on her trailer, it seems like her personality from that game is transferred intact, and her moveset looks to be truly unique, mainly pulling from Uprising. But you know us. We have to pull out the old analysis machine to see just how many secrets and hidden details there really are in her reveal trailer. What did it find? Well, let's start with her basic moves. We see several of these basic moves as the trailer progresses, such as her dodge, which is actually Palutena disappearing completely and reappearing elsewhere. It gives the sense that Palutena is quite quick, but we don't think that's entirely true. Multiple times she's seen gliding across the stage at high speeds. We believe those are specifically special moves which we'll get into later. Instead, her actual speed is when she's seen running. It looks to be quite slow, which could mean that she's a heavier power character. And that assessment seems to fit as we see her use several standard attacks such as spinning her staff in front of her, striking with a multi-hit attack, and even her back throw into a dash, bashing the Wii Fit Trainer with her shield. Even in the air she seems capable as her standard aerial swings her staff in front of her, hitting opponents on both sides. However, we notice something about her animations. With all of her standard attacks, her symbol of being a goddess does not appear. It only happens whenever she uses a taunt, a smash attack, or a special. Because of that, we believe that all 12 of her customizable moves appear in her trailer. But before we get into that, let's finish identifying her taunts and smashes. One taunt has her tap her staff and briefly reveal her goddess symbol while another shows her spreading her arms and revealing it. Though we do wonder if the second one could possibly be her entrance animation. Palutena's smashes mainly seem to use her wings, which look to have a decent range. We see her use her side smash against Link and a down smash that will hit opponents on either side of her. And while we're not 100% sure, we believe her up smash is the blue beam of light that hits Donkey Kong. It makes the move a little unusual for up smashes since most strike directly above the character, but there's no hint of any of her other moves being an up smash, and it does force Donkey Kong higher into the air. So about those specials, Palutena names 14 of them throughout the trailer. Every single one of them is actually a reference to one of the powers that Pit could equip during Kid Icarus Uprising. It's actually a rather smart way of differentiating Pit from Palutena. Give him the weapons from the game while she gets the powers. The first we see is Heavenly Light. In Uprising, it unleashed a light that hurt approaching enemies, and it looks to work mostly the same in Smash Brothers. What's interesting, though, is how wide of an area it covers. Despite that, it only seems to do minor damage since it doesn't even interrupt Mario and Rosalina's animations. It can actually be compared to Fox's Blaster, where it's mainly used to rack up an opponent's percentage. Next is the Explosive Flame, which also seems to work like it did in Uprising, only with a much more concentrated blast. The question, though, is whether it's always unleashed at the same distance. While it looks similar to Zelda's Din's Fire Special, there's no indication that it travels along the stage before being activated. Instead, we believe it might only appear at that distance, meaning that Palutena players would have to stay aware of their positioning when using it to get its full effect. The warp actually looks very similar to Zelda's Ferrora's Wind, but will Palutena be able to control where she warps, or will she only be able to go left and right? We believe it'll be the former, though, mainly because this looks like it could be one of her recovery specials. Meanwhile, while the rocket jump creates an explosion on both sides of Palutena before launching her into the air. It seems pretty self-explanatory, though we do wonder if she'll be able to charge the ability. There's no indication of it in the trailer, but she could just be using its simplest form. The Reflect Barrier looks to be a slower version of Falco's Reflector, as it doesn't appear that she can hold it indefinitely like Fox's. Instead, it slowly spreads away from her and eventually sends back Samus's charge shot. But if you look closely, you can see that the move is effective as soon as it's used, as Little Mac is sent back before the barrier even fully forms. The Auto Reticule is another special that has a blink and you'll miss it moment. As Palutena is using it, there's a frame of animation that shows a yellow light emanating from her. We believe that this could show the exact range of the Auto Reticule. And while we can't see just how far it extends outward, it does prove that there are blind spots for the attack. Otherwise, it seems to be a fairly weak attack, though we do believe Peach could have dodged it. Slowing down the footage again, we can see the reticule forming and staying where it had locked onto Peach. If a player could get out of that general area, then the attack could be avoided. The jump glide looks to be an absolutely fantastic recovery move, as not only does it launch her high into the air, but allows her to float around the level just like Peach. It's difficult to say how much offensive capability it has, but we can't imagine it has much. 
Meanwhile, the counter looks to work just like every other counter we've seen, and the Super Speed Special looks to be a somewhat different attack that allows her to barrel through opponents. Next is the Angelic Missile, which could be compared to Luigi's and Pikachu's side special. We don't see her charging the attack though, so we're not sure if she's using it immediately, or if she's unable to charge it for more power like Luigi and Pikachu. And then there's the Celestial Firework, which looks to be a multi-hit special. We can see the initial spark rising up to hit Luigi for burn damage, before exploding and launching him even further into the air. Finally, there's the Lightweight Special. It looks to be faster than her super speed, so much so that she actually catches and passes Sonic. However, it looks to work in the same way as we can see Sonic dodging the attack at the very last moment. We wonder if the trade-off for speed is less power though. The last of the powers Palutena uses is the Black Hole and Mega Laser. Based on the glow surrounding her body, we believe that this might be her final smash. The black hole is launched in front of her, and whoever is caught in it is hit by the Mega Laser. If no one is caught in it, the Mega Laser likely won't fire. So we've identified all of her specials, but which ones are the default choices, and which are the customizable? Well, based on this chart release showing Mario's customizable moveset, we believe we can possibly identify them all. But before we get to that, we wanted to point out how all of Mario's moves use the same basic animation. It's only the effects that are different. We even see this with Donkey Kong's Storm Punch. However, for the Mii Fighters, each of their animations is different for their customizable attacks, and that seems to be the same case for Palutena. The other thing we notice is that the customizable attacks seem to have a common pattern. There's always a slower but more powerful version, and a lighter but faster version. The default special is the one that lies between those two. Based on that, we believe we can form an educated guess on which of Palutena's attacks are the customizable ones, and which are the default, though there's always the chance that we are wrong with these predictions. So let's start with the standard special. We believe that the three standard specials are Heavenly Light, Explosive Flame, and Celestial Firework, mainly because they work a lot like how other characters' standard specials do. They're rarely anything fancy and are usually designed to do basic damage with few tricks. And thanks to our previous reasoning, we believe that Celestial Firework is the default standard special mainly because Heavenly Light seems to be a lighter attack that covers a wide area, and the Explosive Flame seems much more powerful but requires some distance to use. However, in one of Palutena's screenshots, we see the Explosive Flame being used again, which could be evidence that it's the standard special default. But until we see more, we'll stick to the theory that the Celestial Firework is the default. Next is the Up Special, which is typically used as a recovery. The three specials that look like they could be used for that is Warp, Rocket Jump, and Jump Glide. The warp looks to be the quickest option, but also has the least range. This is assuming, of course, that the warp is able to be used in any direction, like for Roar's Wind. Meanwhile, the Explosive Flame looks to focus on the power of the attack with a decent recovery. That would make the Jump Glide the default up special. We believe this because of the similarity to Pit's recovery, and how it leaves Palutena open for attacks unlike the other two. For the down specials, we believe that Counter, Reflect, and Auto Reticule fit the bill. All of these are types of moves typically used as down specials with the other characters, but we think that Counter is the slow and powerful option while the Auto Reticule is light and fast. The Auto Reticule is also simpler to use than the comparatively more complex Counter and Reflect Barrier. Based on this, we believe the Reflect Barrier is the default down special, as it's not as powerful as the Counter, but is trickier to time than the Auto Reticule. There's also the fact that Palutena uses the Reflect Barrier during the animated sequence, which would lend credence to this assumption. Finally, for the side specials, we think that Angelic Missile, Super Speed, and Lightweight fit into that category. Angelic Missile is a similar kind of attack to Luigi and Pikachu's side specials, while Super Speed and Lightweight could be matched with Foxes. However, we think Super Speed could be the default since, once again, the Angelic Missile is powerful but slow, and Lightweight seems faster yet lighter hitting. So Celestial Firework, Jump Glide, Reflect, and Super Speed seem to be Palutena's default specials based on our reasoning. We could be completely wrong, but we believe we have some solid reasoning behind our choices. This is Sakurai though, so it's impossible to say for sure. Okay, we're almost done here, but there are still a few things worth pointing out. One is that we get to see Kirby's Palutena transformation. It may be just us, but we think he makes a much cuter pseudo Palutena. And finally, there's the mysterious ending to Palutena's trailer, where Dark Pit appears. She mentions him crashing her party, so could this be a sly hint that he'll be a playable character too? After all, the same kind of thing happened in Pac-Man's reveal trailer with Mr. Game & Watch. It's worth noting that the black outfit option for Pit, which served as the inspiration for Dark Pit, was not an option during the Smash Bros. demo at E3. This could be another hint to him being his own character, or perhaps that not all of the costumes were implemented into the demo. 
After all, Wireframe Mac wasn't an option either. Finally, there's the point that Dark Pit actually appears on Palutena's poster. Up until this point, only playable characters have appeared on the newcomer's posters. The only exception to this was Isabel showing up in the villager's poster. However, she was eventually revealed to be an assist trophy in the game. At the very least, could we see Dark Pit appear in the game as one as well? And is it possible that Viridi could make some kind of appearance in the Wii U version too? We hear her voice at one point taunting Palutena, but no footage of the 3DS stage Reset Bomb Forest is shown. Every clip is from the Wii U version. If she does appear, what form would she take? It's difficult to say exactly, but we will say that Palutena looks to be another fantastic addition to the roster. We may not know exactly which of her specials are her defaults, but every option should be fun to use. But that's everything we could find in Palutena's reveal trailer. Of course, if we miss something, please let us know in the comments. If you like this video, be sure to like us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter at GameXplain. Thanks for watching and make sure to stay tuned to GameXplain for more on Smash Brothers and other things gaming too.